Good morning, students. Yesterday we started with the chapter "The Enemy," written by Paul as Buck. We read that it is the time of World War II and how Dr. Sadao, who was a famous um, surgeon and a scientist, was not sent along with the Japanese troops. Why? Because the general was not keeping good health and he might need his services. Then we read that how Dr. Sadao met Hana in America. and then when they returned to japan the sadao's father approved of the marriage and they got married according to japanese culture and then we read that how both of them are happy uh, happy and they are having two kids let's start with the second part of the chapter it was at this moment that both of them saw something black coming out of the mist now we read that how dr sadao and hana were standing outside in their house veranda and then they were observing how the fog has enveloped the island and at that very moment they saw something black coming out of that mist it was a man and it was flung up out of the ocean flung it seemed to his feet by a breaker and the outline of that man a uh, person showed that it is a man the figure is a man and he was flung out he was thrown from where he was thrown by the strong waves by the ocean and flung it seemed to his feet by a breaker and some strong wave had thrown him from the ocean he staggered he staggered a few steps his body outlined against the mist his arms over his head and he is walking that figure is walking unsteadily his body outline against the mist now the the person is not visible it is just the outline that can be uh, seen coming out of that mist and the outline said what that his arms were above his head then the curl mist hit him again and then the mist again hit the person who is that hana cried she dropped sadao's arm and they both leaned over the railing of the veranda and when they saw this person the outline of a person coming out of the mist hana cried hana in a loud voice said who is that who is that figure coming out of the ocean and then they both husband and wife are leaning on the veranda to observe who the person is to notice who the person is now they saw him again and again the fog that had covered from that fog that person comes out they see him again the man was on his hands and knees crawling they could clearly see in the mist not clearly see through the mist they saw what that the man is man is on his hands and knees and crawling then they saw him fall on his face and lie there and then they noticed that the person fall on his face and by the side of the ocean and lie there and lie there probably he might have fainted a fisherman perhaps sadao said washed from his boat now sadao he makes a guess that he might be a fisherman and who might have been washed off from the boat he ran quickly down the steps and behind him hana came her white sleeves flying so sadao runs to help this man whom he thinks that it might be a fisherman and hana follows the husband and as she is running the sleeves are flying a mile or two away on either side there were fishing villages but here was only the bare and lonely coast dangerous with rocks so we learn that a mile or two away from sadao's house there is a fishing village but the particular place where sadao's house is it is a lonely coast that means it is not that inhabited there are no houses no more houses dangerous with rocks and the area where sadao's house is there is the ocean that part of the narrow beach has dangerous rocks the surf beyond the beach were was spiked with rocks so there were many many rocks in that part of the narrow beach somehow the man had managed to come through them he must be badly torn so this person who is coming this person who has been overthrown by the strong waves who was staggering from the mist or crawling he that person has managed to come through that rocks and that means if he has 
come from that uh, strong waves he might have got himself injured with the sharp pointed rocks also and might be badly injured or badly torn they saw when they came towards him that indeed it was so and when their husband and wife reached to this person whom they think is a fisherman they see that yes this man was badly injured the sand on one side of him had already a stain of red soaking through so they noticed the sand on he, that person is lying unconscious or fainted and that person the sand on one side of it was altogether stained with red that is the blood was flowing he is wounded sadao exclaims so sadao notices this person and he realizes that he is wounded because there was red on in the on the sand so the blood was flowing from this person somewhere he made haste to the man who lay motionless his face in the sand so this person was lying his face in the sand and sadao runs and makes a haste to notice this person who was all unconscious an old cap stuck to his head soaked with sea water and there was a cap that was also soaked with sea water he was in wet rags of garment and the person who was unconscious his garments were torn and they were also wet so they stopped hana at his side and turned the man's head they saw the face so hana and sadao were noticing this unconscious person whom they thought to be a fisherman and sadao turns this man to notice his face and they saw the face and what happened a white man hana whispered so hana in a very low tone in a confidential manner announces that it is a white man that is he is a american yes it was a white man the wet cap fell away and there was his wet yellow hair long as though for many weeks it had not been cut so they noticed that this person is an american and the cap fell from his head they noticed that the person was having a long hairs as if for many weeks he did not had a hair cut and upon his yellow and tortured face was a rough yellow beard and moreover they noticed the face the face shows that this was a young fellow a young boy and it shows the marks of torture that he might have been badly tortured and he had a beard he was unconscious and knew nothing that they did for him because he was fainted he was unconscious he did not know about the presence of dr sadao and hana now sadao remembered the wound and with his expert fingers he began to search for it now dr sadao he leans down to check on the check on the wounds of this unconscious person and as he is a trained surgeon he started looking for the wound blood flowed freshly at his touch the minute dr sadao touches the wound the blood started flowing on the side right side of his lower back sadao saw that a gun wound had been reopened now dr sadao notices that the lower back of the right side there was this person had a a uh, gun wound that is the person might have been shot and it was reopened the wound was reopened the flesh was blackened with the powder and his tissues had become black and some powder was deposited on the wound sometime not many days ago the man had been shot and had not been tended so this person might have been shot a uh, few days back and he that shot the bullet was not attended to that is he has not been taken care or looked after and the bullet is still there in his body it was bad chance that the rock had stuck the wound and because this person was overthrown from the strong waves and there were rocks on this narrow part of the uh, beach where uh, he was lying so definitely the rocks have stuck the wound and and had reopened the wound Oh how he is bleeding Hana whispered again in a solemn voice so Hana in a very low tone in a solemn serious voice she says that the man is bleeding the mist screened them now completely now the mist had enveloped them completely and at this time of the day no one came by and this late evening nobody no other visitors were there the fisherman had gone home and even the chance beach comer would have considered the day at an end the fisherman had already gone home and even the occasional walkers on the beach had also gone home 
what shall we do with this man sadao mata so sadao in a very in audible voices uh, that what should we do with this person especially when this man is a white man and america and japan are at war but his train hands seemed of their own will to be doing what they could to stanch their fearful ble- bleeding but because um, the train hands were not affected by the thoughts and he was engrossed in trying to stanch to stop the flow of the fresh bleeding or the fresh blood and fearful because there was an enough loss of the blood he packed the wound with the sea moss that strewed in beach street strewed the beach so there was a sea moss scattered on the beach so he takes that sea moss and places that onto the wound so that the wound the blood should stop flowing the man moaned with pain in his stupor but he did not awaken the, this man groaned with pain though he is unconscious but he did not awake the best thing that we could do would be to put him back in the sea sadao said answering himself so first the sadao said what sadao muttered what shall we do with this man so he is answering to himself he is talking to himself and he thought that the best idea or the best thing would be to put him back to place him back or to throw him back in the sea now that the bleeding was stopped for the moment he stood up and dusted the sand from his hands so the bleeding had stopped why that stop because uh, the doctor had placed the sea moss on the wound so for the time the bleeding stopped so the doctor stood up that is sadao stood up and removed the sand from his hands yes undoubtedly that would be best hana said steadily but she continued to stare down at the motionless man so hana hana also very firmly stated that it would be best to leave this person in the waters itself in the sea itself but then she continued stared at the person the motionless unconscious man and she did not move from there if we sheltered a white man in our house we should be arrested and if we turned him over as a prisoner he would certainly die sadao said now doctor said what that if we are going to shelter if we are going to protect him or hide him in our house this white man in our house they would definitely be get get uh, get arrested and if they are going to hand him over as a prisoner of war then definitely this enemy would die so death will come death will come sooner or later for the person the unconscious man the kindest thing would be to put him back into the sea sahana said but neither of them moved so hana said that the kind thing would be that we place let this person keep lying over here by seaside or in the waters but then both of the husband and wife dr sadao and hana are standing over there and they did not move they were staring with a curious repulsion upon the inert figure so they were staring at the at this unconscious man with a strong feeling of dislike and hate and this was a strange feeling and uh, they were looking at this motionless unconscious person what is he hana whispered so hana question who was he who exactly it is uh, this unconscious man there is something about him that looks american sadao said he took up the battered cap yes there almost gone was the faint lettering a sailor he said from an american warship he spelled it out us navy the man was a prisoner of war so sadao says that the looks of this young person or the wounded man says that he is an american then he takes hold of the cap the damaged cap and this damaged cap has some letters written but then it were very faint it was very uh, dim or dull or rough and that was written a sailor he was from us navy and that means he had been a sailor from american warship and this person the unconscious man was a prisoner of war he has escaped hana cried softly and that is why he is wounded so hana understood that this might because he is a prisoner of war he might have got escaped and ran and in that he was shot by a bullet 
in the back sadav agreed so sadav agreed that yes in the back he had a bullet wound so he might have tried to escape and then he was shot by somebody or might might be by a japanese they hesitated looking at each other then hana said with resolution now they are hesitating and uh wondering what to do with this unconscious man should we leave this person over here if we take him then uh, they both would be arrested if we leave him definitely he would die so what should be done and they are standing over there then hana in a very decisive tone says come are we able to put him back into the sea so she is trying to um, get to some uh, conclusion that are we prepare to leave this person over here in the sea if i am able are you sadav ask so sadav says if i am then what about you are you willing no hana said but if you can do it alone so hana says in negative and she says that you have to do it alone sadav hesitated again the strange thing is he said that if the man were whole i could turn him over to the police without difficulty now sadav is hesitant hesitant and he has a strange feeling that if this person was not injured or wounded things would have been easy he should he would have got him arrested or informed the police that would have been easy i care nothing for him he is my enemy or american sama enemy so i am not bothered about this unconscious man for me he is an american and all americans are his enemy and he is only a common fellow you see how foolish his face is but since he is wounded so he says he looks like an ordinary person a common person and his face also looks very foolish but then he is wounded so he is not able to make a decision and he is hesitant what should he do you also cannot throw him back to the sea hana said then there is only one thing to do we must carry him into the house so hana said that you are also not able to throw him that is to leave him in the waters that is she is not able to throw him and even the husband is not able to throw him so the only conclusion is what that we should carry this person in our house but the servants sada inquired so sada wondered what would we tell the servants they are going to uh, stand against us for giving a shelter to an enemy we must simply tell them that we intend to give him to the police as indeed we must sada so they decide sadav and hana decide that they are going to announce to the servants of the house that they have um, they have taken this american or the prisoner of war in the house so as to the intention is to hand him over to the police and they will and definitely they must we must think of the children and your position and uh, then uh, hana said that we have to think of the children the children are small they have a whole lot of life and future ahead and the position of dr sadaw as a surgeon as a scientist he is a famous person it would endanger all of us if we did not give this man over as a prisoner of war so sadaw she tells to sadaw that it would be very difficult for them uh and if they are not going to hand him uh, hand this unconscious man or an american as a prisoner of war to the police certainly sadav agreed i would not think of doing anything else so sadav agreed that yes certainly we are going to hand him over to the police as a prisoner of war and that should be have to do it